Hey guys, I uh, got a tutorial for Vegas for you today. Uh, I'm going to show you my render settings and just some general sort of hints and tips. Uh, there goes Twitter and some tricks uh, that will just get you basically settings for your YouTube videos. Uh, depending on what you're using to record, you're either going to be using a Dazzle or a uh, PVR. These seem to be the two sort of major ones going around at the minute. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, if you look in the description, there will be some download links so you can get all your shit and whatever. Um, just remember to subscribe. Uh, once you've installed Vegas and opened it up, uh, you want to go ahead and drag in your media clips. Let's just refresh that. Uh, just a very short clip. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, I'm just going to cut it down to a slightly smaller size. There we go. So I've got my little clip here. Uh, that's really dark, actually. I don't like dark. Dark's not good. It doesn't show very well. There you go. That's slightly better. Um, okay, so once you've got your clip imported into Sony Vegas, uh, you want to go ahead and well you want to set your project properties really so go up here I've already got my little uh, template pre-made there so I just go ahead and click on that um, but what you want to do is basically set your width to 1280 by 720 as you know I tell a lie first of all you want to go to uh, click that little uh, open folder icon there and you want to select one of your recordings uh, it's a random one and what this does is sets the project settings to what your recording is, so there's no, basically there's no point setting it to anything better than uh, what you're recording in because it just won't have any effect. Uh, so that's what that does, and then you just want to change your width to 1280 by 720. Beautiful. Uh, leave everything else the same and click Start All Projects with the Settings. Apply. Okay. Yada yada. Right. <clears throat> what you do now is you want to right click on your um, little clip here properties and uncheck maintain aspect ratio uh, what that does basically is um, it stops it from sticking to the same sort of size uh, constraints basically so it allows you to sort of move it around a bit more freely I'm just going to cancel that and close it uh, also if you go into <coughs> sorry excuse me if you go into properties and you see here it's on default smart resample you want to click that to disable resample uh, because that stops it from ghosting and just gives you better quality basically it stops it from being slightly blurry when it's moving from frame to frame <coughs> excuse me I don't quite know what's going on tonight <coughs> right next thing you want to do is go to event pan crop click on that and a little box should open and if you notice it's not very good picture okay that's slightly oh, I've lost it again that's slightly better uh, you'll see you've got sort of black lines at the bottom here and usually the size as well. Um, these are all picked up. Well, this is hanging Xbox outputs, but it usually doesn't matter because you don't see it on your TV. Sorry, my computer's just telling me the time is 11 o'clock. Um, basically, you want to get rid of these by just go ahead and dragging the corner in, and that will sort of you know shut them out. Or whatever, it will crop your image, and then you, get, you know, go when you render it, you get a beautiful, nice image with no black lines around the side of it. <coughs> okay, uh, another thing you want to do is click right here on the event. Uh, or actually, if you want to click, if you've got your whole um, line, you can go ahead and click over here to track effects. Load up the Sony color corrector. Click OK. And then basically, don't mess with any of this, just go straight to the presets, click on the little drop down arrow, and go to Studio RGB to Computer RGB. And that just makes it a lot nicer. It sort of it darkens it down a bit and gives it a bit more color, and it's just a Better quality, basically. Um, this is this shows up a lot more on PVRs, but I think it helps on dazzles as well. So pff, yeah, go ahead and use it. Um, that's basically it. I'll go ahead and show you my render settings now. I was going to select a little bit. Maybe how long is that? One, two seconds. That's alright. I'll use two seconds. Click uh, oh, file render as. There you go. Uh, and you want to save it as media. Uh, sorry, Windows Media Video V11 WMV is should be a different one and equals YouTube. I don't know what equals YouTube is supposed to be. But basically click on uh, custom. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, make sure you include audio. Mode CBR. Format uh, Windows Media Audio 9.2. And uh, basically the important one is attributes is 192 KBS. <coughs> Moving on to video. You want to click CBR again. Windows Media Video 9. And uh, the standard one being uh, high definition 1280 by 720. Pixel aspect ratio is 1 square. Frame rate should be 29 uh, frames per second. Seconds per keyframe is 5. Uh, default compression buffer should be 3. And video smoothness right up to sharpest. Uh, bit rate, this really does depend upon um, 
uh, what you're uh, what you're using to record, but basically 6.4 should be um, about right. Go to index. You can index your file and whatever else. Uh, yeah, I don't bother with any of that because I don't index them. Uh, and then the project you want to use the um, project settings. So then you want to name your template as YouTube. Click save. And when you drop down your thing here, it'll be there. So, which means that if you click here, you can go down to YouTube, and there you go. Um, Render loop region only. I want to click that. Uncheck save project markers and fail. Fi uh, fail in file. You don't need those. And make sure you don't stretch video to output frame size. And I'm going to name it as test. Tets. Okay, tets will do. Uh, click save, and it will render. Um, that's going to take a lot. I think that was two minutes rather than two seconds. Never mind. Uh, moving on. Uh, that's basically it. I will show you how this outputs and what it looks like and whatever in the end of this video. But uh, yeah, as I said, down the links are in the description. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Well, I say rate. Please thumbs up and subscribe with old habits and whatnot. Um, and yeah, I'll see you again with another tutorial.